Sidney Mackey and the legend himself, Spitfire. So great to have you with us. Yeah, it's nice being here. <laughs> so let's talk about this. I I'm wondering when you saw that, that Spitfire had this special skill beyond just being a great dog. So uh, we have this friend, and she had the former distance world record holding dog, and she um, was telling us, you should come try it out. And we were available one weekend, and he did this like amazing hop right into the pool off of a ramp, and people were telling us, you got to go travel and make it to the championships. And even as a puppy, he had these hops, but we didn't know what dock diving was, and we called him a cat. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm sure he didn't appreciate that. So he's like, I want to do competitions. <laughs> so how did you know, how do you know that he likes it? Oh, his body language completely changes. Like most of the time, he's just chilling out. But around the pool, he's a completely different dog. Like he's barking, he's wagging, he's trying to pull me onto the dock. And <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so look, he's so calm now. But when do you know? How do you get him into that competitive mind frame? Because right now, you look at him and he's just like, I'm just hanging out on set. Enjoying myself. Yeah. So when we're at competitions, I'll take him out of his crate, go walk him around a bit so he can stretch his legs, and I'll point to the pool, and I'm like, there's a dog on your dock. You go get your bunny, get your squirrel, whatever we're doing. And he's like, okay. And he starts barking, and I'm like, yeah, you go get it. He's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. talk about that. What does he do when he sees another dog on the dock? When he sees another dog on the dock, he's looking at him, barking. He'll look at me, bark, like, hey, lady, I want to be up there. <laughs> like, Wait, so he talks trash to the other dogs yeah, on the dock? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach him that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I I've heard the story that essentially you are the one he jumps for. You are the one he performs for. He doesn't do it for other people. What is it about your bond with him that makes him want to do such great things in your presence? Well, I'm, I'm the one that, you know, walks him, feeds him. Um, you know, he does, we do everything together. And I've had other people try and jump him just for fun. And they're like... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, if, has it been that way from the beginning that he just wants to do things for you? Yeah, I think, I think it has, but it's definitely more so now than it was before. Okay, so there are people out there who are going to see the feature we just saw and see this interview, and they're going to say, I want my dog to do the same thing. <laughs> so what kind of regimen do you have from him in terms of training or eating or anything like that? Yeah, so at home, um, you know, we don't, like, overwork him or anything, but we'll exercise him on the treadmill. We have a treadmill for the dogs, like, every other day or so. And, um, you know, I just try and feed him right. He gets some um, kibble mixed with some different raw foods and supplements. And, nice. Yeah. Wow, how did you know to do that? Um, we just kind of looked into it and, you know, looked at what other people were doing that were having success. And, you know, it's working out pretty well. So a so couple seconds left. What's his next goal? Uh, I don't know. Just keep doing what he's always doing. I'll tell you what. The sky is the limit. We love having this little guy on. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.